Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Stygian. I'm Colonel RPG, and I'm very happy to have you here with me as we talk to... I don't remember him introducing himself. No, he actually did. He said his name. I forgot immediately. Uh, and we, we're having a sophisticated conversation. And he's looking for a rustic man. I'm, I'm trying to avoid the main subject here. So you study folk... <laughs> like fairy tales. I like fairy tales. Would, would, you, would you care to share one? No, no, not fairy tales. There is a difference. I'm an expert on New England folklore, to be specific. I'm sure you've heard of my book, Kingsport Folk Tales. You must at least have heard about it, right? Oh, actually, I did. With incredulous excitement, he says, Oh, you did? Then you are aware of its significance as a pinnacle in cultural studies, not only for New England, throughout the whole country, or what's left of it. Now, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, it's sold so as toilet paper. So it's sold in here, so I guess that's good. Um, why are you looking for the rustic man? I'm afraid he is one who's looking for me. I've had some minor problems with my current employer. Nothing I can resolve, of course, but... I can't. Nothing I can't resolve. But I suggest, or I suspect, he may have sent that illiterate to find me. Who is this employer? Uh, he is a... Mm, he's a foreigner investor who... Foreign investor who's interested in, in my advice. Oh, really? Uh, is there anything you're not good at? Other than the vulgar athletic disciplines? No, I don't believe so. I've always maintained that with a healthy brain, you can achieve anything. Remember these words, sir. Invest in your brain. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Now, oh, he doesn't even... He probably wouldn't hate puns, considering the age uh, that we are living in. Goodbye. So soon? All right, leave, sir. Your choice. He quick, quickly tosses the remaining whiskey down. You're no different, of course. Sorry? Can't you recognize a person of natural quality? Do I have to tell you that out of all these people, all these cruelest illiterates, I, Stanley Fredkin, have possibly discovered an escape from this hellhole? I was chosen! What? What are you talking about? He suddenly comes to his senses. A... Uh, Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Damn this vile whiskey of yours, Marino. I had better take my leave. Hmm. A possible exit indeed. Hmm, I don't think the game would end this soon. I met a talkative folklorist named Stanley Fredkin at the old ill. Uh, Under the influence of Marino's cheap whiskey, he mentioned a possible way out of Arkham as well as some mysterious contractor. Uh, well. I wonder if I should follow him. Probably, yes. Marino. What is it, Cornuto? I need rest in the attic. Of course. I hope you enjoy our special suit. Sweet. Whatever. I don't. I never know how to pronounce that one word. The royal attic. He guggles for a while. Which is a weird thing to do, in general. Also because I don't know what it is. But he does. He guggles. And after, um... It's like... Guggle... <laughs> People, mm, in, Portuguese people sometimes don't know how to pronounce English words, and some people pronounce, instead of Google, they say Guggle, because, the, well, insanity in general, but also ignorance, but, but more insanity than anything else. So he, what he's doing is he's going up on his Android and, um, and Guggling a little bit for a little while. After uh, getting no response from you, because, uh, well, Guggle, hey Guggle, you didn't do anything, he quickly gets down to business. Forty six, Cornuto, and make it quick. Uh, okay, so that's another thing. Let me see. Okay, so I can come back at any time. This is pretty good. This guy still doesn't know anything about anything. He's just, he's just serving as background. Really cool track, by the way. The uh, that that line. It's long enough and varied enough that it doesn't become repetitive. Uh. Nobody here knows anything. Didn't I get that? Hmm. Okay, that's good. It's good. Coming out here, although there was somebody on the middle of the street. I, I wouldn't know if they're important or not. Um, you'll excuse me? Yeah. So, I want to go to the attic. I will pay you. Can I also trade? It's very important here. The prices are a little bit terrible. Hiccup. But I have some whiskey, which is good. And you have some food, which is passing. I'll get a couple. Just, there you go. For the, for the way. 
And he'll take my whiskey. Yeah, because I got the other one. Sell it. Good, 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 good. And now we're leaving. We're going upstairs. Finally getting that amulet. Ooh, I was, I was, I was getting worried. Oh, there's somebody over here. Oh, it's... Hey, did you get in through the window? Although the amber eyes behind the rags glint with expectation, the creature remains silent as a corpse. How are you faring recently? The creature observes you with puzzled eyes. Why, why do you ask? Well, we are on the same journey. Isn't it natural, a natural question to ask? Forgive me, I'm not much accustomed to the notion of sharing. He continues with a note of shyness in his unearthly voice. I'm fine. Good to hear. Although the amber eyes behind... Okay. Well, that's good enough. And there's a thing. And Cornelius's pocket watch. Ten experience. Cries of the marked. That is bad. That's a bad title right there. Also, the pocket watch is right there. Cornelius's pocket watch. Beaut... No, no. Be beatified by a cross motif. The exquisite golden uh, watch bears the inscription Non quan delinquere tus persuasio. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Oh, that's for me to sleep. Oh, that's great. These decayed fragments of furniture. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is where we sleep today. Uh, because we're also tired and, and stuff like that. So... Hopefully this is going to go well. We have gambling. What does gambling provide extra cigarettes in some safe areas? Wow. That's kind of good. We can't socialize, though. For reasons, apparently. We can also scout. That's not really necessary. I can read my lovely magazine. Yeah, look at that. 13 out of 15. You can't fool me. That's not how... I did. You can, actually. You can fool me a lot. You can fool me a lot. Okay, so let's try a little bit of gambling. A little bit of uh, recreational reading. And we can do a little bit of scouting. That doesn't really affect anything, so we're good on that. Okay, so as for uh, the outsider. The outsider can do medical research. Which I am, <clears throat> excuse me, not 100% certain what it does. But it can. He also can do occult research. Which I kind of want. He's look. Unlocks new spells, identifies artifacts. Let's go ahead and read that. And he can scout. Sure. And then. The character investigates the area to find the best spot to camp. Increases reaction for the party. Forever? No, it's only if we get attacked. And we keep watch. And she can't read. Let's just keep watch a little bit. Eh, sure. You know, spend spend the points. There's no real reason not to do it. Did she get exhausted? Maybe. I gained one sanity after some rest. Nice game. Five cigarettes by gambling. Found some meaning while reading Sleazy Magazine. Gained c zero sanity. Okay. I, I, I like finding meaning in the Sleazy Magazines. No health or sanity recovered. Made progress in the occult research of Manuscript Tongue of the Dead. That's pretty good. And that's what it means. That's the progress. Okay. So it means I didn't finish the other one either. No health or sanity recovered. Kept watch while others slept. Uh, rest was uninterrupted. And it seems like everything is good. And... That was a weird thing that happened. The sleazy magazine open and whatnot. Um, and I think we're good. Now... How does that work? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Is it because I'm super tired? It might be because I'm super tired. Uh, like, I was exhausted, and yeah, that made things a little bit more complicated. Okay, well, Marino, uh, we're good. Bye. Yeah, that sucks, though. I'm not really sure how to fight that. Well, I, I am sure how to fight that. Keep an eye out for when I get tired, and when I get tired, I simply 
rest before I, I do that. Okay, so let's look at our journal. Cryptic poem, lead bottle, possible exit, cries of the marked, have located Cornelius stash and Richie. Okay, so I was approached by a fellow uh, near the old hill. He claims he's been denied entrance. He will be waiting for me in the defiled f church of French Hill. Yes, that's a good place to go. Absolutely it is. Okay, yeah, I'm going to need to just know what, it, what what I'm doing with that. And if we need to sleep a little bit more often than we do, that's fine as well. It's not a problem. Also, I should be out looking for for respawned loot. Uh, I know this one, but I did it off camera. Oh, he's coming here, okay. I know these ones have, hadn't respawned, so they might respawn now. A rustic looking fellow approaches you with a note in his hand. He puts the small folded folded paper into your hands. Who are you? He wanders away without a word. He does indeed. That is not great. Wow. Okay. The blood and the soul of this withered wretch. Just finish him and leave his corpse to rot. Was he Cornelius? Yes, he was. He's by the church. So that's the cult. Hopefully I won't lose sanity. I'm not in a, in a position to do that. Immediately lost sanity. My god. Well, I guess I'm sleeping. I'm gonna sleep again. I don't think there is a real big problem. So story progression as as taken care of has been taken care of. Uh, I think something else got taken care of. Yep. I think that I might have taken too long. Can we talk? We talk for a second. We can indeed. The outsider speaks to the rustic uh, as the rustic-looking man leaves. As he was a servant carrying... Was he a servant carrying the word of his lord? Um... Uh, well... I don't, I, I don't know. I haven't read the thing. I guess we'll learn more about them soon. Yes. What did he give me? Stanley Fredkin's note. I finally found the exit that I mentioned to you. I can get us out. Meet me in house at number 39, Main Street. Oh. Well, okay, let's look around first. So I lo had looked at that already. Let's not get too close to that because, you know, that's going to upset things. Uh, I'm going to read some sleazy magazines over there because we can do that, no problem. Oh, he's still alive! I need to talk to you. Yes, that probably isn't what you would be saying as you lay dying, but still, he's here. Cornelius lies bleeding on the f cold besmirched ground as waves of agony convulse his body. Riddled despair. Wow. That is a word? Pitilessly. That is a synonym to pitilessly, I think. Maybe? I don't know what it is. He's been killed. He perhaps would have already given up his last breath, but for your timely arrival. Gagging on his own blood, he can hardly talk. You come. Thank the good lord. But my time is up, I'm afraid. Ugh, listen to me. The watch is of no use to me anymore. I've lived for... Uh, uh, and I'm, I'm about to die for my convictions. Come to think of it, I don't regret it. it I was tired of living like a rat anyway. <clears throat> you can keep the watch. But promise me this. You're going to use it for something you believe in. Oh. How about I do something for myself? Yeah. That's what I believe in. With his dying breath, he struggles to utter his last words, but his broken body has had enough. With a, qu a quiver that lasts but a moment, he finally dies. Yeah! Oh, dang it. I witnessed another horror. Damn it all. Ah, oh, well. Let's go talk to the kid. And, uh... Let's, uh... 
eventually we might even be able to go in there and, and kill them. It'd be cool to do it early, but we might be able to do something here. Hello? She doesn't reply. Hmm. The rest of them don't don't care about me. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. So number 39, it's not here, it's on the other the other thing. Let's rest. Next to the well, it's a street with two dead people, so you know, only good things can happen in here. For sure. Absolutely. And we have some camping supplies, so I think we're going to be fine. I don't know how many. Yeah, three. That's yeah, good. Perfectly fine. Give me my magazine. Hopefully it doesn't get spent. Uh, we can do some scout. That's good enough. And then you are looking... So if you're look at that... Did it restart? It restarts the... Uh... Hmm, that's really bad that it restarts. There's an autosave as well. That's kind of cool. Uh, it's really bad that it restarts the um, the thing. So I lost that first. Uh... That's why I couldn't figure it out. Anyway, let's let me go get back to where we were. Okay, let's try. Let's try and figure it out this time. Hopefully, yeah, there it is. So it's sort of weird how it works. Cause it was definitely higher up or something. I don't. I don't understand. I. I just don't understand. It doesn't matter. We're fine. Uh, we can keep watch. We can do reconnaissance, which is hopefully all good things, and uh, just r restore my sanity. I. It only restores for two sanity. Rest interrupted. Wow. Can we at least get the normal rest, or are we gonna need to rest again after? Wow, man, that that is that's like that's just unlucky. <laughs> Those sounds sounded like a cat. It's 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 taking forever to load. I don't know why. Because it crashed. That's what it was. Let's try that again. And from now on... Oh. That's very little. Learned a new spell. Tongue of the Dead. That's good. Seven. That's good. That's pretty good. Gain sanity. Seven sanity. Six sanity. For plus two. Okay. Okay. We're almost at half. Okay. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Is the world still wild and weird? Yes, yes it is. So we're in, we're in good hands right now. So basically, from from now on, every time I sleep, I'll um, I'll save with a quit before. Uh, so he doesn't. I don't have keys to sell you. I just figured that maybe we were gonna see anything, or see something. Okay, so the next stage is well, we have quests, so I don't really need to try to remember. The possible exit that is in the next road over. It's not really road, it's just sort of district or whatever. It's still it's a new street. That's not road, it's a street. Uh it's over here. 39, it's over there. I wonder if there's new things. There are no new things. There's also no new things on the other part. Save for the choking vines on every wall, the humble resident. I didn't read that. I might have not read it on um yeah, I didn't read it yet on this save. How does that work? Wow. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. I, I I might need to do it some other way. Meet me in my house at number 39. Yeah, I need to read this before. Oh, the game. Yeah. Yeah, let me fix it. I say let me fix it, but it didn't really do anything. Can't really right click or do anything. This... This is the meet meet my house. And yes, there's, there's some shakes. Huh. I don't understand. A 
rustic fellow looking fellow in a black suit. Uh, the folklore is that man. Okay, Fredkin claims to have found a, an escape, a way to escape Arkham, and has invited me to his house at number 39 Main Street. Yeah, but you can't go into the house. Why is that? Hmm. <laughs> and of course, the outsider doesn't want to come in here. I wonder. You can't heal yourself. I wonder why. Let's see if it's there. If not, I'll, I'll fix it. As I always do. There's a lot of intricacies. Not intricacies, but idiosyncrasies is what I want to say to this game. But yeah, I really can't go in there. So let me see what I can do about this. I'm an idiot. Main Street is here. Why does it... Why is it do they have the same names? I know why they have the same name, the same numbers. That's how streets work, how numbers work. But it sort of uh, threw me for a loop. Super threw me for a loop. The door seems to be sturdily locked for a typical building of Arkham with such decrepitness. You knock on the door. You hear approaching footsteps and a blunt, uneducated voice is heard from inside the door. Who's this? Uh, Mr. Fredkin is expecting me. You hear the clicking of the lock and the door creaks to let you in. And hopefully I'll have enough stamina, or not stamina, uh, hopefully I'll have enough sa uh, sanity to not die. Glad to see ya. This way. Absolutely. Master Stanley's waiting for me in, your, in his room. Yes. Waiting for me. No, he said waiting for you. He means waiting for me. A light bulb? Kingsport Folktales, a gray suit. I'll take all of that. I'm very good at all the things. Uh, do I like the gray, gray suit better? I doubt it. Yeah, it's the same one I had before. Well, it looks like it. I'm, I'm not very educated in suits. Master Stanley would also be happy. Yeah, but he wouldn't because he disappears immediately. Let's see what we can do about Stanley Frederick. Fredkin, rather. He has a map. That's very interesting. In these desperate times, desperate times, where residents are denied the convenience of centralized heating, one must resort to old methods. The bright flames lend a nice, even warmth to this cozy, but otherwise dull room. What do you mean dull? Looks amazing! Looks great! Look at that! It's got all sorts of things and books and whatnot. Stanley is a type who immerses himself in the minutia of local folklore at any chance he can get. Except for right now, he's resting. Uh, the book on the desk is a compilation of rumors about the Pukung, Pukung, Pukungtuk Indians of Dunwich and their supposed ceremonial practices. Supposed as in, it's not really ceremonial? Hmm. These drapes have been left open to allow some of the light, a little remaining light outside into Stanley's plainly decorated room. You go again with the plainly decorated. It looks great. The table is covered in disorganized heaps of cables, machine gear, electronic receivers. Absolutely not electronic receivers, because electronics. Elect you, di you didn't even know the atom. Well, you didn't know the atom. No, actually, I'm not really sure when the atom was found. I'm not 100% sure when the atom was found. I do know that in 1911 or 1909 and stuff like that, when Einstein was proposing uh, theories that eventually led to the discovery of the atom, uh, people weren't sure that the atom even existed. There was, there were, um, what's the word? Um, schools of the science that, that uh, of physics that thought that the atom didn't exist. They had other explanations for the way things worked. And the atomicists, as they were known at the time, uh, believed the atom existed. And, you know, uh, Einstein was an, an atomicist. Uh, and he uh, described things very, very detailed, with a lot of detail. Which is usually how it, how th people who eventually turn up to be right, uh, or we believe they are right, well, we sort of, we know, f well, science is complicated. To say we know in science is sort of unscientific, but in in the greater scheme of things, we know the atom exists. Um, but, um, but yeah, 
So definitely not electrons. Definitely not electronic. Electric? Sure. But not electronic. Because that requires the transistor, I want to say. Which was invented in 1950-something. I don't actually know when the transistor was invented. <gasps> We're getting sanity. That's actually good. Okay. The uh, so in a, yeah, ramble, ramble. This wooden tribal totem depicts a winged, six-legged mythological being from the Himalayan folklore. Judging by their contents, this shelf contains the personal notations of Stanley Fredkin, one of which contains his reflections on the phenomena associated with the simple country folk. Ooh, folk horror. That's quite something. I'm, I'm actually... I, I do enjoy the, the, the genre. Mm -hmm. And uh, a not-so-recent framed and hand-drawn map of downtown Arkham up there. Let's see. Stanley recorded anecdotes of his travels through Kingsport, Dunwich, and Innsmouth on this map, tracing the route he followed prior to his arrival in Arkham. Yeah, but there's a right-click here. Oh, interesting. Well, and the reason why I rambled without pausing the game is because I will be doing this from now on, which is reading all the things and then reloading and... Um, and basically doing this, and I'll 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 just like make cuts and whatnot because all these loading times sort of cut into the playtime. But we're out of playtime for the, for right now. So for for the moment, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Stygian. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.